Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. We are continuing to learn about Angular pipes. In the last episode, we did a detailed hands-on example on built-in pipes. I also spoke about the words like pure and impure pipe during the introduction of pipes. So it's very, very important to have a basic understanding of what is the difference between pure and versus impure pipe. Let's get started. That's what we are going to learn in today's episode. Before we get started, I'll request you to support our tutorials by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing my channel. Also, if you like my tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Also, if you need any tech support, training for your project or job, please write to me at surya.aradhyay at gmail.com. If you have missed out on the awesome 34 episodes so far that I have covered on Angular 17, make sure that you go through them because there are a lot of breaking changes. Alright, let's talk about pure pipe first and then we'll talk about the impure pipe. Pure pipe. A pure pipe is a pipe that only executes when its input data changes. Okay, Angular checks the input for changes using strict equality. Okay, so that's the most basic uh, example I can give you. All the pipes in Angular are by default pure pipes because they will only execute when data changes. Performance wise, pure pi pipes are optimized because they only execute when necessary, right? Unnecessary change detection cycle is not triggered. Default behavior, like I mentioned, all the pipes that we have seen in the last episode, that is date, uppercase, lowercase, JSON, slice, key value, all of those are pure pipes because they will not change or they will not trigger unless data is changed. What are the ideal use cases? Anything that involves a uh, kind of rendering in the template where it's only for display purpose always use the pure pipes okay I hope it's clear any pipe that we learn in angular by default they're all pure pipes because they'll only trigger when data is changed in the template or in the class now let's talk about impure pipe impure pipe is a pipe that executes on every change detection cycle which means irrespective whether data has changed or not it will trigger which is costly because it will impact the performance negatively how do you make a pipe as impure there is a property we can set and make pure as false in the in the decorator i'll show you that in the hands-on when we build a custom impure pipe now where is this use case um, used right if it's bad for performance why do we use it where do we need it Let's say you are building an autocomplete search for something filtering or say you need some data to be changed after certain intervals or some action should happen based on dynamic data source. These are some of the common use cases where impure pipe can be used. Okay. Remember impure pipe will do on every change detection irrespective of data changed or not. Right. That's the most important significant difference between pure and impure pipe. Like I said, I will do a custom impure pipe in the next example, hands-on only, no theory. This was theory because this is something that is often asked in interviews, often uh, from a fundamental perspective, right? You should have that uh, knowledge and you should have that information as to what is the main difference between pure and impure pipe. That's all for today. Uh, thank you so much for joining in this episode. In the next episode, we will cover about impure pipe. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you are rocking Angular 17 in your learning. Please do let me know if you have any questions or comments in the, in the comment section. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.